Hello, everyone. We're live. Oh, yeah. We're live. <laughs> we're, here. we're here. It's Carol and, and Tara. Tara. <laughs> hey, Tara, did you know that every year across the globe, over 604,000 women are diagnosed with cervical cancer? Did you know that? That is insane, Carol. Wow. Insane. Okay. Insane. We're part of the number. We're part of that we number. Are, we are. Crazy? But, but how can we go beyond being that number? What can we do? You know what, Carol? I don't know about you, but I am happy about GCAM this month, honey. I am spreading yes. all awareness about gynecological cancer and the awareness that we need to go ahead and yes. let people know that we are here you know yes. so you know one way that we can do that is sharing our stories and to my yes. recollection you have a pretty interesting story and i you think these what? people need to hear it <laughs> we all have a great story right yes. we all need our stories to share mine you know started in 2011 i spent about five years almost in chemotherapy that full time or some surgeries. I'm a three time cervical cancer survivor. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm also a double awesomate because I had to have my bladder and my colon and all kinds of stuff removed below my belt. And so I'm what I like to call a double bagger. So I got a urostomy <laughs> and a colostomy. And, and you know, that's it. I got the I got packages all over the place. That's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah. Let me so if we're all about sharing our stories, why don't you tell me about yours? Well, Carol, I <laughs> was diagnosed in the middle of the pandemic <laughs> but i know it was a crazy time i was diagnosed with stage 2b cervical cancer i went through 36 rounds of radiation six rounds of chemo six treatments of brachytherapy oh honey listen i don't want to see another okay <laughs> but this is why sharing our stories is so important i had no idea the extensive treatment that cervical cancer patients experience until right. myself was going through it. And as like you said, some of the stuff that we went through was absolutely just mind blowing. So, yeah. 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 And it stays with us forever, right? We have lasting side effects um, and we still somehow move forward. So, you know, because there isn't a whole lot of awareness, with below the belt cancers september and come january for cervical cancer awareness month we get to tell the world about our stories we get to tell them i get to share your story my story the stories of all of these um wonderful survivor community members and uh, it is our opportunity to really shine and to really like you know, bring some teal and white. Yes. Into the conversation, <laughs> right? right? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Because yep. <laughs> we talk about above the belt a whole lot. And we yes. want to talk and we want that awareness for the below the belt too, right? So here, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to share our stories. Mm -hmm. We're going to finish up September. Mm -hmm. loud and proud yes. sharing those stories, right? Yes. And we want, Absolutely. We want, yes, and we want all of our community members to do the same, right? If you haven't shared your story on survivor.org, do that. It's a great place to start, right? Did you, is your story up there? Is your story up there, Jill? I did share my story. And Thank you know you. what the beautiful thing about it, Carol, yeah. is that you are the magic behind that. And we give a great <laughs> format for all of people. They don't have to be worried about it. I think one of the things that I said was scared of sharing my story. I'm not a writer. That's not my forte, or like I like to say, it's not my wheelhouse. However, <laughs> this lovely woman over here can definitely help me jazz it up, make it make sense, and put it on her page so that my voice could be heard because it matters. Because quite That's frankly, true. I don't know about you, nobody should be dying from cervical cancer. Not Absolutely. when we have all the tools and resources out there to help end this horrible disease. 
That's right. We can see it in maybe the next, the future generations, no more cervical cancer, right? And that's what we're striving for. And yes, Survivor makes it so easy to share your story. We give you these great question prompts uh, to guide you through your story, to get it out there. And um, you don't have to be a writer and um, you just got to, you know, that's the first step of putting your story out there. Right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We're here tonight to f close out our Below the Belt conversations. I'm so excited. Uh, we have talked about so much. We've shared so much with, with y'all about uh, cervical cancer, other Below the Belt um, cancers uh, this month. You've learned. I hope that you've learned so much out there, um, taking away some good um moments to share, you know, the information that survivors shared on social media. I hope that you've had conversations with your neighbors. I mean, I know that every time I post something um, on my Facebook or Instagram, there's always that one person that's like, you know what, Carol, your story made me make my appointment for my gynecologist or yeah. Your story made me vaccinate my children for HPV. And I'm sure that you've had those experiences too, right, Tira? Absolutely. I have right. just been overjoyed with the amount of support and just knowledge that's being spread. Our social media pages have been on fire, spreading a bunch of knowledge. And my friends and my family, Hey guys, you guys have been absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of our heart, sharing our story, sharing awareness, um, and just really spreading the message about, you know, it's time to take in charge of our health below the belt for sure. Yeah, it's a priority. You know, I'm a wife and a mother. And sometimes, you know, for me, it's always I'm thinking to put it on the back burner and what my message is now and what I tell people when they meet me is like, you matter, your health matters. So regardless, if you want to put off getting a mammogram, you wouldn't get put off. You know, if you have an ear infection, you're going to that same thing. It is time yeah. to take charge of your health below the yeah. belt. I am just, it warms my heart every time, like you said, somebody comes up to me and says, when I made my appointment. I'm getting my child vaccinated because of the message that you keep sharing. And it just, this is why I do what I do. So purpose in my pain, you know what I mean? Like you yeah. say, what is that phrase you say, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> what is that phrase? More sunny days? No, More purpose sunny in days. Pain. I love that. It, purpose to our pain. Uh, because that's the empowering part. We've been through so much as cervical cancer survivors and thrivers and getting buyers, however you want to define yourself. Um, but being able to advocate, I feel like takes our story to the next level. It empowers me. It took something really crappy and, and makes it great, right? Because I yes. now have a purpose. I can now walk with, you know, into, oh my gosh, I can help other people know the value of making those appointments of prioritizing your health um you know whatever it is it's you know you get to walk in that purpose and that pain is you know we don't forget the pain no we turn it around right we no turn it around. but it makes it worth it you know i tell people yep. cancer was the best worst thing that could have ever happened to me and i really yes. truly honestly mean that i am absolutely adore my survivor community and any of our newcomers, I hate that you're here, but I'm so glad that you found us. You know, that's the way I feel about it. And if I can, you know, hopefully prevent somebody from ever joining Survivor, that would be a wonderful thing. You know, join us for advocacy work and spreading awareness, but not yes. to be a patient. But if you are, you are going to be involved in an absolutely amazing community of thrivers, survivors, educators, advocates who are excited and no longer ashamed. And that's another thing. We are that's breaking the stigma. I'm yeah, going to talk yeah. about it below the belt, that part yep. down here. Yep, down here, down here. Yep. Look, <laughs> <laughs> down here. Check it out. Yes, yes. you know yes. that's huge because you know um, we get there's a lot of stigma, right? And and we don't want that. There's no reason for it. It's not your fault. It's not our fault. 
it's not our fault that we have cervical cancer and therefore no one should hold that burden and you know we got to end that stigma yes like, right now <laughs> right now <laughs> absolutely and even yeah. with our other gynecological cancers we talk about yep. ovarian cancer vulva cancer yep. you know my it breaks my yep. heart i just buried a friend of mine teal for tish Shout out to the Pierce family who died from ovarian cancer. I do all of this and advocate for the people who no longer have voices, for the friend in our community as well, who no longer can say, this is why I advocate. This is why it's so important because you are important. We love you. We want to see you here. So this is why we share this message. We just, you know. (laughs) (laughs) That's why we're here doing what we're doing. Absolutely. Yes. So many, not just cervical cancer, especially, you know, so many other, can- no cancer below the belt is ever talked about enough. And that's why we're doing it in September and again in January. Um, we're going to keep it going, keep it going. Yes. And we're going to, you know, paint it teal and white forever, forever, right? You know what? Any last? <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. We won't judge you, Carol. Me. I know. I did not bring my uniform today. Goodness gracious. Um, what are some some of the last um, things we want to share as we kind of uh, wrap up our last conversation of the month? So I just want to thank all of you guys who have been out there tuning in, sharing reposting we see you we appreciate you so 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 much Mm. thank you i just want you to know that our awareness goes beyond one month i don't know about you but i'm teal and white 365 baby so this is what the message that i have you know and i hope that something grabs a hold of you and you prioritize your health below the belt what about you kira what are some of your takeaways my gosh we can add to that (laughs) share your stories share your stories share it with everyone you know go outside of your comfort zone just push it a little bit you know share your story on survivor.org take care of you tell your friends tell anyone with a cervix get it checked Mm -hmm. get it checked take care of you yes absolutely (laughs) <laughs> and thank you all for joining us tonight, for joining us for all of our previous conversations. We have had a great, great time giving you some more information and just um, letting you get to know who we are too and sharing our stories. We so appreciate your energy, your um, love, and just keep, keep, keep being the survivors that you are. Yay. We love you. Thank you. Go GK. Go GK. Go GK. Thank you for tuning in. We had a great time. Yes. Yes.